Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Magic RAM, the Magic Memory Kit as I call it. So this is that 8,000 Mega Transfers kit from G-Skill that runs at 1.35 volts. So we're going to be testing it with a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. And then maybe depending on how well you guys like this video, I will consider testing it on other platforms, like namely a Ryzen 9 7950X, so a non-X3D, and maybe an Intel 13900K if you guys want to see how this does on Intel. I've been told that it's actually pretty hard to get 8000 running reliably stable on an Intel platform, uh, but it's pretty easy on AMD. So if you like this content, stay tuned. Okay, so I've installed the RAM, and there it just did the initial post. Now, this is on an ASRock Steel Legend, and as you guys know, if you watched my build video that I did last year, there's the RAM in there. That's that Magic G Skill 8000 Mega Transfers RAM. So I just loaded that in, but what I did was I did not clear the CMOS. All I did was I removed my 96 gigabyte kit, which runs at 6400, and I put this kit in there, and it immediately booted into Windows at 6400 but that's not what we want to do so i've got my little debug postcode thingy that i've added on here so i can see the memory training because i don't want to just rely on the blinking led when it's training so i want to be able to show you guys the steps as it's happening in real time so what we're going to do here is in the bios uh we're going to go in to the in, in Asdrox BIOS it's going to be under DRAM profile configuration. In here you will find your XMP or Expo profiles, as well as any standard JDEC profiles. So we do have a single JDEC 5600, and we're going to load the XMP 8000. You guys can see it's Hynix, 24 gigabyte. So there's two of them. That means the total is 48 gigabytes of RAM. That is a single rank configuration which means it's going to be pretty easy to do on Ryzen. So just to kind of show that, we're setting 8,000 here as a speed. It also set the memory ratio, or the U-Clock divider mode, to U-Clock equals mem clock divided by 2. So that is gear 2 mode. And then it also specified 1.3 volts. I don't think this is necessary. I'm going to do 1.2 volts and see if it will post off of 1.2 on the SOC. 1.3 is the upper limit, so you can try anywhere from 1.2 to 1.3. We're going to start really low, and we'll go up with a maximum of 1.3. So that's going to be the settings that I apply. We're going to hit F10, and you guys can see all the things that it's going to change here for all the sub-timings. So now what I want to do is we're going to hit yes. So now I want you guys to see this process. So there's code 15. The famous code 15, anyone who's built an AM5 platform uh, since release, if you have a motherboard that has the postcode debug, you're very familiar with code 15. Code 15 basically means memory training. That's very good to see. That means we're coming into Windows here, or that means we're coming into the post. So that's A0. That means we're going into the BIOS. And sure enough, we are now running at 8,000. So that's actually 4 gigahertz on the actual memory. The IMC frequency is in gear 2 mode as shown here. Now this is the reason why this works without doing too many tweaks on Ryzen. It's very easy to run 8,000. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Windows and we're going to test the stability. You can also test using Memtest 86 outside of Windows. That is actually the recommended way so that if there is instability, you don't put your operating system and your files at risk of being corrupted. So just keep that in mind when you're doing memory overclocking. So now we're going to go ahead and I'll just discard this and let's just go into Windows. And you can see... Memory Context Restore is going to skip that memory training, and it's going to go straight to Windows after the post. There's the post, A0. It's going to now load 
the operating system. And sure enough, we're on our way into Windows there. So in conclusion, there are some mild to moderate gains from running higher speed memory. It doesn't really translate into massive, massive gains, but it is worth doing if you want to eke out better throughput, better memory bandwidth, and that sort of thing. So uh, that's for two sticks. And if you guys like this video, please leave a like and stay tuned. I'm going to be trying a, another kit of 8000, so I have a second one here now. So I'm going to try four sticks of this and see if I can get four sticks running on Ryzen at 8000. So stay tuned for that content in the future, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.